What's going on, y'all? This is Q Ortiz, your local San Diego massage therapist, musician, and artist. And I had the question of somebody wanted to to know how <laughs> how I fell off of my e-bike. Now, yeah, this is just random. This is like a vlog kind of situation, but I think it's also an opportunity to touch in on on the idea of pride, on the idea of humility, because I got this e-bike. It was my, and actually I, I fell off my e-bike two times, right? So the first time, like I got this new e-bike, my first e-bike, and I was, I was so happy because I mentioned it went with the plan of Dave Ramsey with the baby steps. I felt like I was saving money. I was moving around on my own accord and, and having this form of transportation for myself. So I'm feeling cool, just cruising, surfing the streets on my e-bike, just chilling, like feeling good, feeling so nice to just cruise, having that motor push me around and and I was heading to class one day I'm headed to class to Qigong and I'm on the bike I'm going and I'm heading down this hill right but I'm I'm having fun just kind of standing up a little bit then I sit down, I'm just like, ah, nice, yo, I'm, I'm on this e-bike, whoa, yeah, uh, got this e-bike, boom. So, there was a car on the left side of me, sort of, it was a merging road, right, it's a, sort of a bridge situation, and this car is my friend, my friend's in the car. And they're honking at me, just like, uh-uh. And I'm, and I'm sort of looking. I don't know who it is. I'm just kind of, like, checking to the side. Uh-uh. And then I, I find out who it is. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm just on my e-bike. <laughs> like, uh. And I turn to look forward. There's this elevated curb that's like a sewer, like one of the sort of drain sewer curbs that you see on the street on different corners. This was isolated, just one of those things just sticking up from the ground. And I was heading straight to it. So <laughs> once I noticed, I went, oh, like I turned the bike real quick and just boom, like I, I fell, I hit my, I hit my, um, a sticker from some squash yeah but i i fell hit my elbow and let me see yeah it's some got the scar there <laughs> yeah scar on my on this side like that that was from falling so i fell like boom bang my shoulder and was sitting there just like wow <laughs> wow it was yeah that was one of the worst because i also hit my leg on the bike and bruised my thigh so it was just it was not good and and after that when I was able to, I started, so I went through a period where I couldn't really move my arm, my my leg, I couldn't do much. And when I felt a little better, I got back on the e-bike. I had to get it fixed too, because the brake got messed up and it, it something, the fender was twisted on the wheel. But I got healed a bit and I hopped back on and then I saw the how much benefit it was to have one still, because even though my leg was a little injured, 
I was still able to put enough energy into it to propel me. Even it had a throttle, so I could just still get to where I needed to go because I was still working. So I, I got to work after that. <laughs> yeah, crazy. So definitely, yeah, just, I think just being careful, but also just being being humble in the sense of being happy that you have things, or at least this is what I was picking up and you can use it or not, however you, but it's just, I had the sense of just being humble. Like, even though I have this, this thing that feels good, still just being aware of my surroundings, just still continuing to live life and, and not, not let that necessarily take over my, my feelings. Right. So that was, that was what I, what I picked up from that situation. Cause I was so hyped. I was so hyped. Just like, Ooh, yo, got the e-bike. Ooh, yo. It's, ooh, ooh. I'm not paying gas. Mm, no license for this. Oh, no insurance. Hey, no registration. Ooh, ooh. And boom, just fell right there. So I learned, I learned from that for sure. Definitely have been more just where I'm going. I don't say hi to anybody anymore. I don't look. People call me on the street. Hey, Q. So if you one of those people who see me and you call, try to call me and I, I didn't look or I moved to where I could pull over and then stop and see you then that's that's exactly why because i learned from that and then the second time i fell that's actually that's a part of a part of why i stopped um i stopped delivering food on the bike and that was another question that that i got requested to answer so i'll answer that in the next video i think this was just a quick it had its own it has its own message just like me falling off the bike but also what came with that and what what that felt like um just internally all right well thank you for tuning in i appreciate you supporting the channel thank you so much like this video if you like it Leave a comment below, send your questions into the email. I put that in, in the description box there. You could even send to the Instagram pages. If you're not following those pages, follow those pages, give me a follow. If you like the health, the music or the art page, then yeah, like whatever page you, you like in that regard. I broke it up in that way. So you can, it's all differentiated. Um, and yeah, if you want to continue on this journey with me, click subscribe and we can vibe. Peace out. Oh, I don't know if you saw the last video I did was the unboxing of some new merch. So I have some new merch where we have the the hoodies or t-shirts, hoodies, sweaters, all that. But yeah, if you're trying to cop that, I have the merchandise link below. And this one has Q Ortiz art. The other ones have Rich Right Society. So get yours and post some pictures. If you do, tag me in those. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.